Hi everyone. Let's start by imagining that you're the attending physician in the emergency department. When you're asked to see a 65 year old female patient who's complaining of intense chest pain that started 30 minutes ago. You proceed to evaluate the patient and discover a blood pressure of 200 over 130. At this point, there are at least two very important questions to ask yourself. One, what is happening to the patient? And two, what do you have to do to improve her condition? So first, what is happening here? Looking at the patient's blood pressure and her main complaint, we conclude this is a hypertensive crisis, also known as hypertensive emergency. You might ask why. Her blood pressure is above 180 over 120 and is presenting with a target organ damage. This is key here. Although we still aren't sure which specific organ is being damaged, intense chest pain might indicate acute coronary syndrome or aortic dissection. Remember that when dealing with a hypertensive crisis, a fast head-to-toe examination should be performed to identify target organ damage. In this short video, I'm going to focus only on the hypertensive crisis, but bear in mind that depending on the specific target organ damage, a specific assessment, interventions, and medications will be required. Okay, so coming back to the hypertensive crisis, how is it treated? The overall management goal in patients with hypertensive crisis is to reduce the blood pressure to safer level to prevent or limit further hypertensive damage while avoiding hypertension. The end organ being damaged is the main factor to determine which specific medication you will use to lower the blood pressure. In general, in patients with damage to the heart or the aorta, nitroglycerin and nitroprusate are the preferred options, but lavetolol or esmolor could be used in certain patients as well. Both acute coronary syndrome or aortic dissection require immediate blood pressure control, with the caveat that aortic dissection requires an even lower pressure level, usually to a systolic blood pressure below 120. Other conditions might require a 25% systolic blood pressure reduction within the first hour, except for ischemic stroke, where a high blood pressure is actually maintained to avoid further ischemia. I hope you have learned the basics about hypertensive emergency. And remember to like and share the video with your friends and comment below if you have any questions or comments. See you next time.